What is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay and this is a signature guitar from another Jay, Jason Richardson. Uh, this is his Cutlass 7 from the company with three names, uh, Sterling by Music Man by Ernie Ball, Ernie Ball Music Man Sterling. I'm not really sure, you figure it out. This guitar is insane. Anyways, let's go over some of the specs real quick. Uh, this guitar has a nice alder body. It's medium to lightweight. It's got a poplar burl top, which as you can see is beautiful. And I believe this um, finish is called Black Scarlet Burst, something to that effect. Uh, one piece roasted maple neck, plain and simple. And it's nice and thin, which I like. Rosewood fingerboard. Unfortunately, these are not stainless steel frets, but uh, we'll let that one slide. As far as the pickups, we have Jason Richardson's signature set uh, with Sterling by Music Man. Uh, they sound pretty good, you can judge for yourself. What's unique about this guitar is, although it's got a three-way selector switch, you've got push-pull pots for both the volume and tone. Now, first off, the tone knob, uh, when it's in the up position, gives you the split coil tones, which is very nice if you want to go split coil on your humbuckers once in a while. Pretty cool. And for the volume pot, the up position gives you a 12 dB boost in gain which can be nice, you know, if you just want to push it up a little bit more for just some extra gain, a little overdrive, or bump into your lead tone, you know. Just push up in the mix a little bit, that's real nice right there. You don't see that as often, I feel like, at least I haven't, but this is my first experience with Sterling by Music Man guitars. If you happen to miss my video from last week where I did an unboxing of this guitar and one other seven string guitar, uh, check it out, I'll leave a card up here or there's a link down below. Uh, it's pretty cool. So, two new guitars I'm checking out this week from Sterling by Music Man. I've never checked these out before, so this is a first for me. Um, maybe it is for you as well. I don't know. Maybe you own this guitar. go through a few more specs real quick. So like I said, we've got non-stainless steel frets. That's okay. The fret ends are perfect. You know, that's important to me. Any guitar at any price range really should have at least good fret end treatment uh, in some regard or another. And this one has, like I said, just flawless, perfect. I love it. This guitar is also extremely comfortable for a seven string and I don't have very large hands. So for me, some seven strings do feel like they're just a bit too much. They're too wide or what have you. This one really isn't. And when I was comparing it to one of my Schecter seven strings, I realized that it is a little narrower from like the 12th fret on up than the Schecter. So for whatever reason, it's just more comfortable. Um, I think Jackson does some of that too, with a slightly uh, narrower string spacing overall. So it feels a little more comfortable and I really appreciate that. So this neck is really great as far as I'm concerned for the seven string enthusiast. Now we have locking tuners, but they're non-branded, so I really can't tell you much about them, but they seem to work really well. This guitar has stayed in tune for me really well so far. Tremolo is just called a modern tremolo. Sterling, that's their own kind of branded uh, tremolo system. It's very nice. I like this arm, this type of arm where it just pops in and then you have a little screw in the back to kind of tighten or loosen the tension to how you like it. And that's just uh, very convenient. So you can just pop the arm in and out, you know, ready to go. You don't have to sit there screwing it in or anything else. It's just in and out, good to go. These are active pickups. You've got the battery compartment back there. You've got the string through design. Um, you know, what else can I say about this guitar? It's just 
plain and simple. This is just a real nice seven string shredder. You can chug on this thing for days. The pickups seem to have a lot of output as far as I'm concerned. Uh, one thing I will mention though is this. When you are in the split coil position, the bridge humbucker in the split coil seems to sound a little bit too bright for me. So I found that I've had to dial back the tone when I'm using that particular setup. So generally what I've been doing with this guitar is if I'm in the split coil mode, I will just go to the full on neck humbucker and it sounds perfect to me. It's exactly what I need. It's not too woolly, it's not too thick or muddy. Um, it's clean enough, but it still has the warmth of being the neck pickup, which is nice. So like basically what I'm saying is you can get a lot of good tones out of this guitar. Uh, I have felt no need to kind of do any extreme EQing as far as just grabbing tones. I'm using STL Tone Hub today and just going to run through some more sound samples. So let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, so some first impressions from me. Uh, this guitar feels great. I don't even have the action set up very well and I didn't take a lot of time to bother with that, but the neck feels amazing right off the bat. Very comfortable, especially for a seven string, but kind of the up and the downsides of it is the string spacing seems to be just a tad narrower than what I'm familiar with with other seven string guitars. So while that's easier to maneuver and navigate from string to string, it takes a little getting used to it if you're just generally accustomed to the wider string spacing, you know, especially when you're moving across the strings. So that being said, take it with a grain of salt, either that's better for you or worse, but uh, it's very comfortable. And I think with enough time, you know, a couple of days playing of this guitar, um, I'd certainly get used to it and uh, it would be just fine. Now, one downside for me personally is that the volume knob and the selector switch are both way too close to the strings for me. Uh, I'm not very precise with my picking, like Jason Richardson, who's one of the fastest, most precise players in the world. So for him, I'm sure it doesn't bother him very much, but I feel like my knuckles are constantly resting, literally resting on the selector switch as I'm trying to pick these lower strings. I don't really know how to avoid that other than maybe move my hand to a different position, which doesn't seem very natural for me. But again, this is just a personal opinion. This is how it works for me. So, you know, my opinion would be to Sterling or whatever, uh, you know, move that selector switch just down a little bit, a couple millimeters, half an inch, whatever, just to kind of get it out of the way because literally my hand is touching it, especially when it's in the up position for the neck pickup. Uh, it's just always there. So like, you know, if I'm gonna be playing in the neck position, I'm liable to just bump it right down. See how easy it is to just barely touch it with your knuckle. So, I mean, that's kind of a downside for me. Um, not a huge problem, but I mean, it is something to think about. Other than that, I really do love this guitar. Uh, I think it's a beautiful finish. You know, it's understated elegance. I feel that the output is very evenly balanced from the bridge to the neck pickups so that you're not going to notice a large, significant difference in volume when you switch between the two. But the middle position is a little bit lighter uh, for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I love this trem. I like this style of trem and it's very reminiscent to me of a Goto, like a 510 or a 1501 style bridge in that it's got the arm that just kind of pops in and... Um, it's comfortable. It seems to really stay in place. In fact, the springs must be pretty tight because I feel like there's a lot of pressure here and, you know, there probably needs to be enough pressure to balance out the seven strings. Uh, and this is just in standard tuning. So I've got it, you know, set up in B, E, A, D, G, B, E. This neck is a 25 and a half inch scale length. So you probably don't want to down tune it too much. You know, if that's kind of the thing you're going for, you might want to avoid this scale length because, you know, you're just going to come into the uh, intonation issues and flubby strings and all that stuff. Uh, while it does play very nicely and it feels very much like a normal six string guitar because of that scan length, just want to keep that into consideration, you know, if you're looking for something like this. Uh, yeah, overall, this guitar rocks. I really do enjoy it. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, it does come in another finish as well. It comes in like a pearlescent white. I think they just call it pearl white, which to me is very reminiscent of like Cadillac back in the 90s. You know, it's got that pearloid look to it. And that's cool too. Uh, I would opt for this one instead. Um, there's really no difference otherwise. Yeah, what else can I say about this guitar other than, you know, Sterling by Music Man, Ernie Ball, whatever you want to call it. This guitar is really great and a lot of fun to play, very comfortable. So overall, I would really recommend this kind of guitar for somebody who's not going to do so much of the down tuning stuff, but keep it in normal standard tuning, maybe a half step down if that, you know. Um, but as far as this neck goes, it's really, really comfortable, especially for a seven string. It almost doesn't feel wide enough to be a seven string. 
So that's what I like about it, because it's very nice. You can get those lower notes, but it's not a huge, fat baseball bat. It's not super wide and crazy. Um, just a great guitar. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do all the things. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I just cracked 1,600 subscribers. Uh, very thankful for that. 1,600 people out there love you guys to death. And if you're new to the channel and been watching a lot of my videos, just hit the subscribe button. I don't do a lot of videos. I don't do one a day, so I'm not going to bombard your inbox with a whole bunch of new videos. Um, I do about one a week or so, maybe two a week at most. And I really appreciate you guys. Love you all. Stay cool out there, man. It's been really hot out here. Um, I can't complain because our winters suck. So if we're getting 90 degree weather here, you know, low 90s, high 80s, I'm all about it. Even with the humidity, go to the beach, jump in the pool, go outside, guys. Pull away from the screens a little bit after you watch my video, of course. And hit the like button, subscribe button, all that good stuff. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm out of here. See ya. sweating right now it is so hot in here <laughs> ah, let's try that again